What's going on, guys? Uh, welcome to this uh, video. Uh, today is uh, February 4th, 2015. This year is uh, flying. Uh, anyways, uh, we have right here the Samsung Galaxy S5. And uh, looks like we received the update uh, for Android 5.0 Lollipop. Uh, again, this is a Verizon wireless uh, version. So let's go ahead and click here, learn more online. Uh, to show you guys a couple of uh, screenshots of uh, some of the things that are supposed to change uh, after the update. So as you guys can see, uh, they present right here the uh, software version. Uh, I'm not going to go and read through all these guys, uh, but you can pause the video if you want to read through this. Uh, they mention right here a couple of the different things that are supposed to change and look different. Uh, right here, there are a couple of uh, screenshots also with uh, some information uh they are advertising that you're gonna you're gonna get more uh, fluid animations uh, vivid uh, colors 3d viewing for more pleasurable experience also as you guys can see right here these are a couple of uh, screenshots of uh, the contacts uh, information uh looks like there are gonna be a couple of additional functionality and as well as uh, the icons are gonna look different uh, right here, this is uh, apparently some changes for the uh, lock screen. Um, you guys can read through this. Here's uh, the dialer, and as you guys can see, the dialer is also going to change. Uh, they advertise right here, brighter look and feel, bold uh, colors, fluid animation. Couple of other things right here. And uh, looks like this is uh, the menu when you swipe down for the quick settings. It's also going to look different once uh, you update it. Uh, looks like this is the uh, task manager when you access all the recent applications. It's also going to change and look different. So with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and download the update and show you guys uh, how it looks like after the update. All right, so we're gonna click right here where it says set download. And uh, we're gonna do this, uh, actually do it right here. So as you guys can see, it's uh, downloading right now. Uh, I don't know how long is it gonna take. Uh, I was uh, reading at this uh, website and uh, they were saying that because of the update, it's uh, too big. Apparently it downloads in two different parts. I'm not sure about that, but we'll see here. I'm gonna keep you guys updated through the process. I'm actually downloading this uh, via uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, looks like now we are ready to install. Uh, as you guys can see right here, it's saying uh, estimated update time, 10 minutes. Uh, obviously you're not gonna be able to use uh, the phone during that time. And it says right here, this first uh, of two software updates for your Samsung Galaxy S5. Prepare your device uh, for the next uh, update, which is an Android 5.0 Lollipop. So it looks like it's true. Uh, there are two parts of the update. So we're going to start with this one right now. All right, guys, uh, the phone uh, finished uh, installing the updates. Uh, I actually have a different launcher installed on the phone, but let's go ahead and try to access some of the menus. Uh, as you guys can see, it's saying right here, congratulations, your device has been updated successfully. Uh, the second part of this update will be available soon. Uh, so apparently it's not available yet. So this is one part. Uh, let's see if... Uh, the menus looks different so far this looks the same let me go ahead and access this here this also looks the same than before and if we go here about phone uh so far they is showing right now android version 4.4.4 .4. so apparently this didn't download the whole version uh, let me go ahead and access here the contacts And this also seems to look the same. So it's not fully updated yet to Android 5.0. Uh, 
Uh, this is just the first uh, part of the update. So the information that I gave you at the beginning is actually true. Uh, because of the size of the update, uh, they are just doing uh, two different parts. So guys, uh, with that, I want to thank you for watching this uh, video. Subscribe for more. Uh, stay tuned for the uh, second update of the Android Lollipop for the Samsung Galaxy S5 version, wireless version. We'll see you later. All right, guys, and it looks like now we got here the uh, second update. And as you guys can see now, it's showing right here. This update includes improvements and enhancements to your Samsung Galaxy S5 uh, operating system update to Android 5.0 Lollipop, fluid animations, brilliant colors, and 3D views, floating action buttons for important app feature. So let's go ahead and download here. And this is uh, downloading right now. Looks like this one is actually taking a, a little more time than the first one. Apparently, may, maybe it's a bigger uh, size or file. All right, guys. Uh, so it's finished uh, downloading the software update. Now I'm going to click right here and uh, install it. And uh, the first one, uh, as you guys remember, uh, it said the uh, estimate of date time 10 minutes. So this one is 18 minutes. So this is way bigger a uh, file than the first one. So let's go ahead and start with the installation right now. All right, guys, uh, the update uh, finished uh, downloading. Uh, the phone is uh, turning back on right now. Let's see if we get a message on the screen. So as you guys can see, it's uh, upgrading right now and I can already tell here how this is already looking different uh, the way this is going around in circle is also looking different uh, the text looks uh, bolder it looks uh, more clear all right guys and we're about to finish here and uh, the phone should turn on after this update that we should be able to see the differences uh, between uh, some of the different menus uh, icons and things like that as you guys can see uh, it's uh, finishing the boot or boot up all right guys and uh, the update uh, it's uh, finished and as you guys can see uh, there's a message right here but everything is already looking different uh, starting with the text and all that so let's see what we have here uh, we should be able to see now some uh, differences here as far as the menu if i swipe down and as you guys can see now it looks uh, different uh, apparently google play services requires some uh, authentication we're not going to do that right now uh, if i click here to access the menu the menu also looks uh, completely different and let's go ahead and access the uh, uh, phone application let me access the contacts uh, as you as i told you before i have a different uh, launcher here so that's why it's showing this uh, notification uh, i'm gonna click on the uh the stock one actually that's not the stock one let's go ahead and click here uh yeah it's not open in the uh Okay, yeah, this is completed right here. As you guys can see, uh, we recommend charging your device now. Okay, uh, this is my notification right here from uh, WhatsApp. And as you guys can see, that's already looking different. Uh, and these are all the other not notifications. Uh, one of the things uh, I believe, uh, let's see if we can do that. No, not with this one. Yeah, you can swipe right here. See, as you guys can see, you can hide that or go all the way down. I wanted to show you here the uh, phone application. Uh, let's see here, just one. Okay. Yeah, this is a stock phone application. And as you guys can see, it also looks uh, different. Uh, the icons looks more like the uh, icons on the uh, Gmail 
and right here we see the letters you can click on the letters to jump to that particular icon uh, here's a look at favorites here's a look at recent calls and here's a look at the keypad as you guys can see also looks uh, different than the uh, than the stock uh, or the previous uh, version uh, let's see how it looks like if we try to make a phone call so this is the uh, the look right here it also changed welcome to Verizon Wireless and uh, here's the access to the keypad while you are in the middle of a phone call and we can hang up and last but not least uh, I want to show you guys a quick the uh, recent applications so this is how it looks like now and uh, the, let's go ahead and open more teams uh, let's see if we can open Facebook uh, it's probably going to require an authentication here I'm not sure I can go ahead and open something else let's open this uh, let's go ahead and open the uh, Play Store. And let's see if now it shows more uh, apps right here. So now it's showing more. So as you guys can see, um, this looks uh, pretty cool here, different. You can go through all these. Uh, you can go ahead and access one. Uh, click right here, go again and access to the whole carousel. Uh, you can go ahead and swipe to close one or you can go ahead and click on close all and that's going to close uh, all the different uh, applications out so now last but not least i want to show you guys uh, right here in the settings if i go into um, oh look at this uh, advanced calling uh looks like now within this update there is a hd voice and video calling which is also uh, something that was updated on the motorola droid turbos uh, i'm not going to go through this right now that will be a different video but apparently uh, with the new android 5 you should be able to do uh be able to do uh, video calling with the front facing camera so about phone right here and uh, android version right there 5.0 so friends, uh, with that, I want to thank you for watching this video. Again, this was uh, an update here on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S5 Verizon Wireless version to the new Android 5.0 Lollipop. Guys, uh, subscribe for more videos, share the video to help others, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.